Long live the Empire. Which Empire, Grand Admiral? Why? An unnecessary question, Darth Mar. The one that has brought order and stability to the galaxy. A construct born and twisted out of a dying republic, barely decades old. Many will outlive it. That is, if the Empire fails to destroy that rot from within. The Rebellion is a disease that both Emperors and men would succumb to. Ideals of democracy and hope, childish notions. To think your Empire infallible is childish too. An Emperor and many of his lackeys whose puppet strings he pulls to serve his own, not the people. And what do you know of the Emperor, exactly? I know many like him, sadistic, arrogant, well-earned given their ability to manipulate politics and garner a power base. But as the path to power is great, so is the fall. That is something I won't argue with. The Emperor's mannerisms are sometimes distasteful and his decisions questionable. Even the moths and governors who have earned their positions oftentimes due to bribery rather than performance. That is why responsibilities are given to the Sith, not the Imperial body. Force abilities do not guarantee competency. The Emperor's Inquisitorium is rife with consistent infighting, not unlike the Sith Lords of your empire. A recipe for disorder. Power must be earned. Those who fail to learn that will pay the price. The Sith know that, but men who rush to the top do not. It is true that Many join the ranks of the Empire to serve their own ambitions and allows for greed and corruption to take effect. That is why the level-headed leaders must be put into positions of power. Incompetence and failure must be dealt with swiftly. And how has that worked for your Empire, Darth Maar? Perhaps in more grave cases, a punishment by death is acceptable, with discretion. The Empire requires living beings to fill the ranks, not dead men. Pfft. Mercy shows weakness, a leverage your men could use to step out of line and disrupt the chain of command. Perhaps it is the inability to control and restrain your men that is in question, then their capability and discipline as soldiers. Commanding by fear reveals a weakness. It is not mercy, but merely preventing a minuscule error from growing too large. It would be an error to allow the same failure to occur twice, Admiral. I concur. But what man is in a better position to correct his error? The man who is dead or the man who is alive? Only one is in great shame to redeem himself. His replacements will be motivated by his death to perform better. An incentive that may work in the short term, but to ensure longevity is another. Then let us see how long your empire shall live, Admiral.